Good day, everyone. Today, we are going to solve ordinary differential equations involving chemical solutions. A pool maintenance personnel is attempting to add more water into the pool. The pool initially has 1,500 gallons of chlorinated water and filled to the brim. At the start, he adds 0.2 pounds per gallon of chlorine mixed with water at a rate of 15 gallons per minute, and excess water leaves at 10 gallons per minute. The pool is continuously stirred by pumps. After 30 minutes, the pool has 100 pounds of chlorine. What is the initial concentration of the pool? So before we start with any problem, we must first indicate the given. So for this problem, water goes inside the pool with a concentration of 0.2 pounds per gallon and a weight of 15 gallons per minute. So it gets stirred by the pump, and the water that leaves has a rate of 10 gallons per minute and a concentration that is already mixed up, which is we don't know. Now, the problem requires us to find the initial concentration in the pool, which is the initial amount of chlorine divided by the initial volume, which is 1,500 gallons. So for the theory, we will use the equation of accumulation is equal to incoming minus out chlorine. So dq over dt is equal to m1 q1 minus m2 q2, whereas m1 and m2 are the initial and final concentration, while q1 and q2 are the initial and final chlorine. So the unit for d over dt is pound per minute, which which comes from the which comes from the concentration times the flow rate, which, which is pound per gallon times gallon per minute, will be equal to pound per minute. And we will use this equation, original volume plus Q1 minus Q2 times T, and M is equal to Q over V. So we will sub in the value for M1, which is 0 0.2, and for Q1, which is 15, and for Q2, which is 10. So by simplifying, we will get 3 minus 10 M sub 2. So M is equal to M sub 2 is equal to Q over V, is equal to Q over VO plus Q1 minus Q2 times T. So by plugging in some values again, we'll get M, M is equal to Q over 1,500 plus 15 minus 10 times T, or Q over 1,500 plus 5T. So by substitution in this equation, we'll get DQ over DT is equal to 3 minus 10 times Q over 1,500 plus 5T DT. So by, simpl by simplification again, we'll get dq plus 10 over 1,500 plus 5t qdt is equal to 3dt, which is linear in q. So pt is equal to 10 over 1,500 plus 5t, and qt is equal to 3. So first, we have to find the integrating factor. So the formula for the integrating factor is u of t is equal to e raised to the integral of p of t times dt. So u of t is equal to e raised to the integral of 10 dt over 1,500 plus 5t is equal to, when simplified, is equal to e raised to 2 ln 1,500 plus 5t, which, when further simplified, is equal to e squared times 1,500 plus 5t. So, we plug, it, we plug it in here in the formula for the general solution, which is u integrating factor is equal to integral of ut integrating factor dt plus c. So, q is e squared times 1,500 plus 5t times q is equal to the integral of 3 times e squared times 1,500 plus 5t times dt plus c. When, for, when simplified, gives us q, e, q times e squared times 1,500 plus 5t is equal to 3 e squared plus times 1,500 t plus 2.5 t squared plus c. So before we can solve for the initial concentration of the pool, we must first find the initial amount of the ring, which is q sub o. Okay, so q e squared times 1, 5 plus 5, substitute 0 to t, because the time is, the initial time is 0. Then equals to 3e e squared, quantity 1, 5, substitute 0 to t again, then plus c. So, by simplifying, you will get 1,500 times q times e squared, which is equal to c. Then move 1, 5 and e squared to the other side, so we, we can get the equation for q, suppose. Then, at t equals to 30 minutes, Q is what? So again, we will do the same equation, but this time, we will plug in 30, not 0, okay? Because the time is 30 minutes. So there, by simplifying, you will get 1,650 Q e squared is equal to 141,750 e squared plus C. But Q is equal to C over 1,500 e squared. So again, we will sub C to Q so that we can find the value of Q sub O. There, then here, plug it in, then 1,650 times C over 1,500 E squared times E squared is equal to 141,750 E squared plus C. Then we can cancel this, then cancel this, which is 1.1, then 1.1 C minus C here, 
and this one is equal to 141,750 E squared. Now, 0.1 C is equal to 141,750 E squared. Transpose 0.1 to the other side, which gives you a value of 1,417,500 E squared value of C. Now, for the initial amount of chlorine, it is equal to the C over 1,500 E squared, which is 1,417,500 E squared over 1,500 E squared. Now, the initial amount is equal to 945 pounds. Now, for the initial concentration, it is equal to the initial amount of chlorine over the initial amount of volume, which is 945 pounds over 1,500 gallons, which gives you an answer of 0.63 pounds per gallon.